Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show brings you game one of a big four-game set. It's the New York Yankees going up against the Kansas City Royals. John shall be with you alongside Chris Singleton and singing the big bat in the lineup so far this year, Aaron Judge. He leads the team and wins above replacement, so most days you can expect him to be a big factor for these guys. Yeah, Boog, he's definitely a huge piece of the puzzle for this ball club right now. He's just having a really nice year, and that's on both sides of the ball, not just offensively. You talk to guys in the clubhouse, the coaching staff, they always have great things to say about him, and they say the team really looks to him to be one of the on-field leaders day in and day out. First pitch coming your way next. ready to get underway and our pitcher tonight Michael Waka and singing he likes pitching at home well truly for him there is no place like home he's been so dominant here and as a teammate you expect him when pitching at home this year to go out and dominate just as he has the fans expect it and I think everyone around here knows that he's a good pitcher even though we don't see the same splits on the road we're going to start to see that translate as well Left-hand batter waits. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And there's a foul ball. The 0-2. Here's a high chopper. Sends it to first. And Verdugo is set down. And time now to check out the New York Yankees lineup. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Oswald Peraza at the plate and takes high there. One out, base is empty. Just off the outside edge, and that's ball two. Righty delivers. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. And that's in the dirt. And it's that's ball four. four. He missed down low. You know, Boog, it's been said these guys are savages in the box. You can see it right there with such tight plate discipline. It's Aaron Judge now. Just missed. You know, Boog, Judge is one of those guys that leaves his mark on everything he does. Yes, he's great at baseball, but he's also known for working with charities and in his community. He's a special human, no doubt about that. Kicks and fires. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. Next pitch downstairs. Three and one. The judge spoils that one. Ball right side and a base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. And the throws offline, safe at third. 
Well, patience and discipline that paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. One away, runners at first and third. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Juan Soto. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Peraza on third. Judge at first. One gone. Pitch misses. Two and oh. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Two on, one out. Three and out. another ball. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Kicks and deals. That Three. one finds the zone. Three and one. Runners at the corners, one away as we play game one of this four game series. 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. So base is loaded with one away. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. And they take care of Stanton for the out. And there are two down. Oh, well, that's a frustrating at bat right there. Big opportunity and just missed it. I know he wanted to do some damage. Next guy, I'll have to pick him up. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Keep an eye on this at bat because even though it's early, it could change the outcome of this game. Look for your pitch and attack it. and in ball one all loaded up and we're just getting started here in the top of the first next offering is in for a strike one. right hander kicks deals a little up yeah. there as he swings through it feels like the change up right there just pulled the string way ball. high okay. Two outs, bases are full. Hacks and misses, it's a strikeout. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, our starter in this one, Marcus Stroman. What do you have on him, Chris? Well, it hasn't been a great year so far in terms of ERA, but he's had some decent games, and there have been some flashes of greatness, if you will. We'll see today if he's able to get ahead of hitters and perhaps get some swings and misses, put himself in a position to bring that ERA down, because you know in the back of his mind, beyond the W, he wants to have a better earned run average. The wind of the pitch. Oh. Started after it. Appeal to first. And he went around. Ruled a swing. Oh. That one inside. And the count is three and one. That one oh, misses, oh. so a leadoff walk. Now, this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. And now 
It's going to be Vinny Pasquantino. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Stroman, an all-star a season ago, he features a sinker, a slur, a cutter, a splitter, and he works in a slider. Stroman throw to first, and he's back in safely. So a substitution needed at first because of the injury. Entering is the pinch runner, Nate Eaton. Next pitch is outside. Oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Nobody out, runner at first. Bounce it off, still one and two. Righty to the plate. Fights that one away, still one and two. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And here it comes. Battling here as he fouls it away. At the belt and fires. Got him looking. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. Seems like he's making contact with everything lately. Currently owns a seven-game hitting streak. There's a strike. pitch swings through that one for strike two this is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play man at first one away two down and Chris that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base and the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play the kick of the pitch runner goes strike in there go to second ow and that'll end the inning the catcher definitely looked ready for that stolen base attempt got in position quickly and a strike down the second base to end the inning So coming into the game now on defense, Nate Eaton. He's the new third baseman. And here's the catcher, Austin Wells. He's been on fire at the dish lately, working on a five-game hitting streak. Waka back to work. There's a swing and a miss. Hold one. Pitch misses there, and that's ball one. Ooh, Rusty Valentine umpiring behind the plate in this one. 
He has what you might call a tall strike zone, both at the letters and down below the knees. Yeah, and I'm sure that helps a lot of pitchers we see today who like to work up, down, oh. trying to change eye levels and swing paths. Yeah, exactly. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. Up the middle, win. Throws the first, and he quickly went away in the second. And now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. Misses outside, and that's ball one. And another ball. Pitch misses. And now 3-0. and Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if he'll walk you. Next offering is in for a strike. And he walked him. Batting on. Anthony the Volpe Volpe will hit next. Volpe. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Hard right, grounder into the outfield for a knock. LeMahieu on his way to third. Save! He was all over that one. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. So the batting order turns over. Here's Alex Verdugo. Oh. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. In the air, right field. High bounce takes it over the fence for an automatic double. And a run comes in to score. Great effort out there as he tries to reach and haul this one in, but just can't extend far enough. I think it started with a bad read off the bat, which led to a bad jump, bad angle. And that cost him right there extra bases. Digging in, Oswald Peraza. And that drops in for a strike. Double. One strike. Traffic on the bases with one already in. Here at the top of the second. Next oh. one misses, and it's a ball to strike. One. The other way. Now two away as they get a run across. The center fielder of the 99, Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge at the plate. One for one with a single so far. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And it's 1-0. And, oh. and that's a pitch early in this game. He needs to call for a strike. Struggling with command issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. Right. On the corner for a strike. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat. Drive in that run. You may not have another runner in scoring position the rest of this ball game. Zips it to first. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. They put two on the board with a couple of hits, no errors, and one left. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Yankees two, and the Royals nothing. We head to the bottom of the second, so here's the Royals DH, Nelson Velasquez. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. 
Pitches in for a strike. On one. Well, the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. The 0-2. One and two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And the righty deals. Okay. And another ball. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And it's into the gap. Around first and hustling for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. He put a great swing on that ball. Took the barrel right to it. Nice extension as well. 105 exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. Freddie Fermin steps in for the Royals. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Into the dive, and he got it. Runner tags up for third, and he's in safely at third with one out. That is good. The white field. And wow, what a great diving catch, Siggy. Snapcast says that was a near perfect route, and it had to be. But that's just a big part of this game. I mean, this guy's instincts just seem to always put him in a position to make special plays, and right there, he's done it again. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Swinging a foul straight back. Velasquez stands a third with one gone to the inning. Swing it a foul straight back. And he'll two. Swing and a miss. Splitter in the dirt. In time for the second out. Good job to clean it up after the drop third strike. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of I mean, That thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put it on. So digging in, Michael Massey. Homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. The pitch. Swung on, belted. Verdugo ranging back. And that one hits the wall. He's in safely at second. A run comes in in the play. Picks himself up at RBI. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. So two down, Drew Waters stands in. He's done a great job making contact recently, currently with a 13-game hitting streak. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Runner at second, two down. Bottom half of inning number two. Up the middle. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He decides to hold on to it, and they don't get the out. And for him, that's two solid weeks with the hit in every game. I mean, he's running his hitting streak to 14, and let me tell you, that's no easy task. This guy's grinding out at bats. He's figuring out ways to put the ball in play and just as well do it with some authority. Two gone with runners at the corners. So up now for Kansas City, MJ Melendez. And that one fouled off. Good eye 
right there. One ball, one strike. That's to third. And that'll keep yeah, more runs from coming in, inning over. KC gets one on the double. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here in Kansas City, here's Juan Soto. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. But why to kick the pitch? That oh. one misses. One and oh. One ball. Soto okay. getting the start in right. Batting in the cleanup spot. And he was selected to the All-Star game last okay. year. Next one in the dirt. The wind and the pitch. All three. And there's a fly ball deep right field. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard, like he did right there. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. Goal for one, popped out foul to the catcher his first time off. In there, and it's on one. But well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. The 0 1. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now. Doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. And no swing, says Jerry Hillsdale. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. We're here in the top half of inning number three. On the ground to short, win. Zips it across and one away in the top of the third. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Struck out swinging his first time. That one fouled off. You'll want. Inside just missed. Runner at second here, one gone. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And the pitch. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Now two and two. side oh and it hits the base Salvador Perez coming into the game now is the injury replacement. Austin Wells, the next to hit. He's 0 for 1. 
Pitch is in there. That's strike one. Rizzo at first, one gone. And a pitch. Line to left. That's a hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Back-to-back -back -back base hits. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. He walked and came around to score his first time up. Down the middle for a strike. It's 0-1. Runners at first and second with one gone. Now this is in the air down the line. Renfro on his horse. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. And a pitch. Got him swinging. Well, it can be so tough as a hitter to pull yourself out of an extended slump, one that lasts for several games, even a week or more. You no, know, right now, he's really in one, so I'm sure his mind is all over the place, racing, having a hard time sleeping, trying to figure out what can get him back on track, back to feeling more comfortable and settled in in the box. So first and second with two outs. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. Whoa. Up and in, and that is ball one. Right through there for a strike. First and second, two down. Finish. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Fermin collects, fires the first, got him. Inning over on the strikeout. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. Back after this on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. And here is Nate Eaton. The right-hander back to work. Oh, Off the mark one. there. Ball one. One and oh. Swing oh. and a miss as he chases that one darting one. out of the zone. The pitch. There's a swing and a drive. Can't get to it as it drops into the corner. Into second easily with a leadoff double. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a cool stroke. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate, taking his first at bat of the game after entering on defense. Swings through that.
And it's second. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Okay. Well, that's that slurve right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. The pitch. And down on strikes. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Win at the plate for the second time as he takes ball one. You know, Boog, this is a player with some serious speed. In 2023, he became the first player in 20 years to record two infield hits and an inside-the-park home run in the same game. And he hits a ground ball right side, and he handles it himself for the out. Nelson Velasquez now at the plate. One for one with a double and a run score. Side. Yeah, that's ball one. The Yanks up by two here in the last half of the third. That one catches the zone, and the count is one and one. And he deals. And a foul ball. <laughs> Kicks and fires. That misses the zone, and the count is two and two. Eaton on third with two out. Smash to the left side. Slings it across, and that's the inning. Royals lead one, and they still trail it here, three to one. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, John Chambi with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Alex Verdugo. And the right hander back to work. That catches the top part of the zone. Going one. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Going two down. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. This guy's seen two changeups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. The wind of the pitch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. And the right hander deals. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Left hand hitter waits. And that's the strikeout looking. He's got to be frustrated with that call. And next for New York, Oswald Peraza. Oswald Peraza. Strike on the inside corner. Bases empty one away. Top half of inning number four. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Yeah, I don't think anyone's got good numbers swinging at pitches in that location. Right-hander kicks, deals, misses, and it's one and two. It's a good take. Next pitch is outside. Two balls, two strikes.
Riding to the plate. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you've got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. you got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. Up and in, one and one. Swings through that one. I think he was sitting off speed there. The pitch. He'll chase that time. Two outs, bases empty. On its way to the corner. And that's a foul ball. The 2 2. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. 1 2 3 go the Yankees. And the score stays 3 to 1. Of the inning and to the play for Kansas City. Freddie for me. The pitch. Line drive. Oh, he gloves it. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Over one so far. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above Yo. league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up to this point. The Yankees leading by two. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. One, two. Oh. On the ground, right side, oh. and foul oh. ball. Boils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. And here it comes. Stays alive. He goes down looking. Here's the second baseman, Michael Madsen, doubled in his first debut. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Close, but called a ball. And one and one. Evidently not too impressed with that call, and it feels like he got squeezed on the outside corner, so... He's making his case. You've got to be careful to pick your spots in terms of showing your frustration with the umpire, and he felt this was his time. Next offering is downstairs. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Two down, nobody on, as we play game one of this four-game series. And a swing and a miss there. The 2-2 gets a check swing. Now an appeal to third. And he won a round. Not an 
easy call there, but that puts an end to the inning. Royals go down one, two, three. Score holds, it's 3-1. New pitcher in the game for the Royals, Matt Sauer. He's pitching on two days rest. Juan Soto down. The right field. Juan Soto. The wind of the pitch. That catches the zone for a strike. 0 oh, 1. Movement in the bullpen. Chris Stratton, the veteran right hander, appears to be loosening up. Here's your 1. That's a little bit low. That's through there for a strike. One ball, two straight. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. One out. Not a very good curveball right there, but sometimes those high breaking balls kind of surprise you as a hitter. And when they stay high, have just a little more velo on them to get by you. And that two strike count, I thought was a pretty good pitch to hit. I think he got a little too excited and tried to do too much. Stamp lays off down low as he digs in for the third time. Swing and a high fly ball, deep left field. That's back there. Got all of that one. A laser to left. Home run number 20 on the year, and they add to their lead. It's 4-1. Maybe he's starting to break out of this mini slump. That's the type of swing that makes you think good things are coming his way. He's got a real hard fastball. You can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. Anthony Rizzo stepping in now for the Yankees. Swing and a miss. It's no ball. one. One strike. Yankees up by three. And we're at the top of the fifth. One down, base is empty. One and two. Hard hit, left side. Tosses the first. Fine play in the hole for the out. Now the catcher up to hit, Austin Wells. One for two. In the dirt, and it's one to no. Two down, nobody on. Oh. And the 
which is blue for a strike. And the count's even at two. Kick San Diego's. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. This one in the air right field. Renfro getting an angle on it. Nabs it. And that is that. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. It's now a 4-1 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Drew Waters. Stroman back to work. That one up. not close. Ball one. Well, these Royals looking to string together better at bats when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. They do have two hits with runners in scoring position, so they've delivered in those moments a couple of times, but for the most part, they're leaving a lot of food on their plate. Swing and a miss, and it's one and one. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Soto sizing this one up. Makes the catch. And a quick out number one. The left fielder, number two. MJ Melendez steps in for the Royals. First time up, he grounded to third. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Left hand batter waits. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. You got to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. The Royals trailing by three. Last half of inning number five. And they'll do it again. Here comes a pitch. Fights it off. You'll see another. But why to kick the pitch? Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That one's back there. Holy Toledo! the season and they're chipping away it's 4-2 that home run narrows the gap between these two this one isn't over yet it's like he's playing with the ball up there that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run the slight opposite field into the gap man making it look easy that's for sure so the Royals batting order turns over Nate Eaton steps in for the Royals Fouled off. He was late. And a pitch. On the ground to third. LeMahieu gets it to first. Two down. Now, now first base. First baseman Salvador Perez went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. And that one fouled off. And it finds its way through for a hit. The batter number seven, 
shortstop Bobby Witt Jr. steps in for the Royals. We talked about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Foul ball there. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Perez, the runner at first with two gone. And what makes him even quicker is the fact that he's so dialed in on the pitch as it's moving through the hitting zone. He can see how that hitter's lined up, what he's trying to do, and where that... And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning, but not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's now 4-2. Top six. Now at the plate, DJ LeMayhew. DJ LeMayhew. And a pitch. Sauer oh, measures like six feet four inches, 195 pounds. He's actually a former Rule 5 draft pick. Nope, Just missed. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. Yeah, there's a ball. Oh, that yep, got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the oh, inning. Oh, oh, oh. Well, the bright side is that that will help the on base percentage a little bit. And that's a category no batter can ignore these days OBP, OPS. Well, maybe that'll ease the pain just a little bit. Volpe, oh. the batter now as he swings oh, and misses for strike one. Rip, but it curls foul. Waves at the fender for the strikeout. I gotta think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with a high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Now the left fielder, Alex Verdugo, one for three. Right through there for a strike. Deal one. Good eye in that spot. He deals on the ground. Two ball goes to second oh. for one. Over to Perez for the inning ending double play. So they go quietly there to the bottom of the six. We go four, five, six coming up. The Yankees four and the Royals two. And we're back. Now it's the DH, Nelson Velasquez. As he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers oh, just go. missed movement in the Yankees pen Scott Efros preparing to come on if needed Marinaccio also getting ready the 1 0 this one popped up Rizzo moving under it makes the catch for the out. And there's one down. The catcher. And next up for the Royals, Freddie Fermin. That 
one down the line and it goes just foul. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. And ball one. And there's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Oh, Drops into the glove, two away. The right fielder, number 32. Hunter. To Renfro at the plate. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Stairs and outside. Two down, nobody on. And down on strikes he goes. Three up, three down, inning over. Nothing doing for the Royals. Still down by a count of four to two. Here in Kansas City, we go to the top of the seventh and stepping in for the Yankees, Oswald Peraza. Sauer back to work. Just missed. Liner to second and picked on the hop. Fires over to first. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. The center fielder, number 99, Aaron. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And yeah, the first offering is not close. And there's the strike. Oh. Just off the outside edge. And a count two and one. And a foul ball. Righty delivers. Careful. And another ball. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Still get the strikeout. Really good battle right there. That final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him off for the backwards K. Hit hard. That gets through. And that extends the inning. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. He's already homered here in this one. 
inside right, corner, and that's called a strike. At the belt and fires. Fought off foul. Finished him. Soto leads off first with two down to the inning. One ball. Two, In the dirt, blocked. Well done behind the dish. Two outs. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. One hit, one left. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. The Yankees four, and the Royals two. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Scott Efros. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Now it's the second baseman, Michael Massey. The second baseman, Michael Massey. And he deals. Rip towards third. Throw on to Rizzo and one away in the bottom of the seventh. Now back. The center fielder. Drew. Here's the center fielder, Drew Waters. That one ripped. Fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. Makes the turn and heads for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Now no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in a swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. And it's second with one away. Here's the left fielder, MJ Melendez. And there's the strike. the tying run at the plate and that's in for a strike well you can't expect to get a great pitch to hit with an open base and a runner on second he's going to have to really tighten up his sights here make sure that he can barrel up the ball tying run at the plate he fouls it off we'll do it again The tying run at the plate here, the bottom of the seventh. Swings and misses, struck him out. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way, so credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitcher. Clearly, he had a Nate Eaton digs in now. That one at the knees for a strike. Go ball. One strike. Clips the corner, and it's only two. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Into center. Snags it on the run. And that will end the inning. 
So one left for Kansas City. They trail it here, four to two. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Jake Brents. And one thing on him, he's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. So digging in, Anthony Rizzo. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. And the pitch. In the air, center field. Sizes this one up. Pulls it in for the out. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no doubt. Here's the catcher, Austin Wells. Slider misses outside. Activity in the bullpen. Chris Stratton getting ready to go. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top of the eighth. And the slider just misses. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. One down, base is empty. That one finds the zone, and it's two and one. And now the lefty. Three and two. First offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on, as we play game one of this four-game series. Oh. That one missed. and fires and oh, another match that okay. misses full count now two down nobody on That's runs great. it up to 96 to record the punch out Yanks held in check as they can't add to their 4-2 lead Pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Jonathan Loisica. These are the spots where levers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. So up now for Kansas City, Salvador Perez. The pitch. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. the plate Outside. and that's ball one oh. and that's down it away Two ball. One straight. Two 
swing and this one's bounced to the ground. And they get hey, Perez for the out. The batter number seven. Shortstop. And here is Bobby Witt Jr. Strike one. Oh one. That one is absolutely belted. Bands off the wall. Went into second, and he's got a double. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Nelson Velasquez steps in for the Royals. First offering misses okay. badly for ball one. misses for ball one. one if you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. And the right-hander deals. That one finds the zone. And the count one and one. Loisica checks on first. And he's back safely. He's got plus speed. But in this situation, all eyes are going to be over there trying to keep his lead tight. Oh. The next offering misses. And it's two and one. With the go-ahead run at the plate, here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Run around the move. Right side. Finds its way through base hit. Headed for the plate. He scores to tap. It's beautiful. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. Ron Marinaccio on the pitch here. Well, he struggled quite a bit, so this is another opportunity to get on the right track. He's given up more than one hit for any pitch so far this season. Hunter Renfro will hit next. Three strikeouts already. He's 0 for 3. Got a good eye there. One ball. No strike. One away. Tie game. Go ahead, run. Stands at first. Next offering is in for a strike. Activity in the bullpen for the Yankees. Ian Hamilton up and loosening in the pen. Tied at four. That one a little bit high. Two and one. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. And yeah, there's a ball. On the scout runner. Not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Bo. Michael Massey next up for Kansas City. Right-hander kicks, deals, gets the call. Three balls, Three balls two, strikes. two strikes. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. The 
pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. One away, tie game. Go ahead, run, stands at first. The pitch. And there's ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Two on, one out. And now, Michael Massey. And that one fouled off. Right side. Soto gets under it. And there's two down. Up next to the ball. The seven down. So first and second with two outs. And now the center fielder, Drew Waters. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. And that's in for a strike. Next offering is outside. One ball, one strike. There's a strike. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Chris Stratton. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries to force weak contact, so command and execution are huge for him. Leading off, Anthony Volpe. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. And here it comes. And this is the zone, ball one. Four, four in the ninth. The oh. shortstop takes the ball. Out front, rip foul. Tied at four. And fouled off. Kicks and deals. Oh, Just misses there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Alex Verdugo on deck for the Yankees. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Right-handed reliever. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Righty delivers. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. the ground. Nice grab. Throw to first. Now one gone in the ninth. 
Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. She delivered a good play right there. And now here is Alex Verdugo. That's in there. Strike no one. One strike. All tied up here at the top of the ninth. Swing and a drive, deep right field. Renfro on the move, racing back. And in one hops the wall. Verdugo around second. Relay throw to third. He's in there. They hit that ball really well to deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but you're always happy with an extra base hit. A lot riding on this next at bat now as they look to take the lead at a critical point this one. run on base now the number two hitter Oswald Peraza 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play in the infield at the corners don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring one away with a runner at third Pitch misses, and it's a ball to strike. Definitely a strikeout situation right here. Lots of ways for that go-ahead run to score if the ball's put in play. The 1-1. One, one. Two and one. Hey. Swing and miss as he was out front that time. And the pitch. High fly ball down the left field line. That's got a chance. Just shy of the wall. Runner tagging and heading for home. He scores. That's a big sacrifice fly. And it's now 5 4. Definitely did get all of that one, but man, the wind almost pushed it over the fence and left. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. This guy with light tower power. And first offering is fouled off. Stratton, 33 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2012. Judge rips that one. Renfro makes the grab. And that is that. But they push across one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left. And 9-1-2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. It's the Yankees 5 and the Royals 4. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Caleb Ferguson. He comes in with a chance for his second save of the season. Well, one run game. MJ Melendez steps in for the Royals. He's already homered in this game. As the lefty gets to work. And takes low for ball one. One run game, bottom nine. Just off the inside edge. And now 3 0. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Going to be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. Looking to get the tying run on base. Yep. And the tying run is on base. They're not ready to go home quite yet. 
Back to the top of the lineup. Nate Eaton steps in for the Royals. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Puts a bunt down. He beats it out. And it's first and second on the infield single. This couldn't have played out any better on offense. They were trying to trade it out to move the runner into scoring position, but instead, they just couldn't make the play on defense. You really need to get it out there. So up next, Salvador no, no, no. Perez. No, no, no. Oh, or not these are the situations closers they seem to live for when I mean, you get into some hot water a jam tough spot whatever you want to call it but this is where they earn their key and the 01 fall off foul so the tying run at second foul ball still 0-2 Swing. Now we'll look down to first. Ah, and he punches him out. He won around. Well, oftentimes that's the pitch he's trying to set off the curveball. He'll lean on it pretty heavily, so you got to be expecting it. Look for it and sell out so you don't miss it when you get it. Win. Swings through it for strike one. That oh. one drifts inside. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. And this is inside. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. To third might be two. Fires to second for one. That's a double play. The ball game is over take a tight ball game into the ninth on the road you know that you've got some work to do you've got to score but then you've also got to get three outs in the bottom half of that inning they did just that today very well played ball game get this win on the road everybody's happy with the W close one here today and your final 5-4 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show I'm John Chubb thanks for joining us He must be insane That young boy with no parachute He's looking so free That young boy with no parachute He looks a lot like me, like me. Our final Our line for tonight First for the victorious Yankees, five runs on nine hits, one error. They left eight runners on base. For Kansas City, four runs on ten hits, no errors. They left ten runners on base. Time of the ball, three hours and 19 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home.